Welcome to History Uncovered, where we delve into the stories and events that have shaped our world. In this episode, we'll be uncovering the real history of Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus is one of the most famous explorers in history. He is known for his voyage across the Atlantic Ocean, which led to the discovery of the Americas. However, his legacy is much more complicated than what is often taught in schools. Columbus was born in 1451 in Genoa, Italy. As a young man, he became a sailor and started exploring the Mediterranean Sea. He believed that he could reach Asia by sailing west from Europe, and in 1492, he convinced King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella of Spain to sponsor his voyage. On August 3, 1492, Columbus set sail from Spain with three ships, the Nina, Pinta, and Santa Maria. After a long and difficult journey, he arrived in what is now known as the Bahamas on October 12, 1492. Columbus thought that he had reached Asia and called the native people he encountered Indians. Columbus went on to make three more voyages to the Americas. On his second voyage, he founded a settlement on the island of Hispaniola, which is now Haiti and the Dominican Republic. He called the settlement La Isabella, and it was the first European settlement in the Americas. However, the settlement failed due to disease, famine, and conflicts with the native people. On his third voyage, Columbus discovered South America. He explored the coast of what is now Venezuela, but he never realized that he had discovered a new continent. Instead, he believed that he had reached the coast of Asia. Columbus's fourth and final voyage was the most disastrous. He set out to find a western route to the East Indies, but he encountered many obstacles, including storms, mutiny, and shipwrecks. He eventually made it back to Spain, but his reputation was tarnished, and he was stripped of his title of governor of the New World. While Columbus is often celebrated for his discovery of the Americas, it's important to note that he was not the first person to arrive in the Americas. The indigenous people of the Americas had been living there for thousands of years before Columbus arrived. Additionally, the Vikings had established a settlement in Newfoundland, Canada, around the year 1000 AD, almost 500 years before Columbus. Furthermore, Columbus's legacy is also tainted by his treatment of the native people he encountered in the Americas. Columbus and his crew brought diseases that the native people had never been exposed to, and these diseases wiped out entire populations. Columbus also enslaved native people and forced them to work in gold mines. Columbus's treatment of the native people was so brutal that in 1500, Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand sent a commissioner to investigate his conduct. The commissioner found that Columbus was guilty of many crimes, including enslavement, torture, and mutilation. Columbus was arrested and sent back to Spain in chains, but he was eventually released and allowed to make a fourth voyage to the Americas. In recent years, there has been a movement to re-examine Columbus's legacy and to recognize the suffering that he caused to the native people of the Americas. In many parts of the United States, Columbus Day, which is celebrated on the second Monday in October, has been replaced with Indigenous Peoples Day. This holiday recognizes the contributions of the indigenous people of the Americas and honors their resilience in the face of colonization and oppression. It's also worth noting that Columbus's voyage across the Atlantic had significant consequences for Europe and the rest of the world. Columbus's journey opened up a new trade route to the Americas, which led to the exchange of goods, ideas, and cultures between Europe and the Americas. This exchange, known as the Columbian Exchange, had both positive and negative effects. It introduced new foods, such as tomatoes, potatoes, and maize, to Europe, which helped to alleviate famine and improve diets. However, it also introduced diseases, such as smallpox and measles, to the Americas, which had devastating effects on the native populations. In conclusion, the legacy of Christopher Columbus is complex and multifaceted. While he is often celebrated for his voyages and his role in opening up the Americas to European exploration and colonization, his treatment of the native people he encountered was brutal and inhumane. By re-examining Columbus's legacy, we can gain a deeper understanding of the impact of European colonization on the Americas and the ongoing struggles faced by indigenous communities today. 
We can also honor the resilience and contributions of the Native people who were living in the Americas long before Columbus arrived. Thank you for watching this episode of History Uncovered. If you found this video informative and engaging, please like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from the past. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so that you never miss a new video. Join us next time as we uncover more hidden stories from history.